One of the things, I think one of our primary goals as a worship pastor, one of my sort of homegrown definitions is to try to eliminate as many distractions as possible. And, you know, because people come into our services pretty distracted. You know, life is distracting. I'm, I'm just sitting out here in New York and it's like, I mean, there's just noise and people and just, that's how, that's how our minds are. It's just how our lives are. And um, I just think, you know, when, as we're putting our set list together, again, to kind of prayerfully forecast, what are some potential distractions, you know? Maybe it's the lighting, you know, if lights are too bright, um, they tend to kind of inhibit people. You know, it can feel like a Kmart or a Walmart kind of a thing, which is not very intimate. Um, so lighting, just keeping the lighting kind of down a little bit really can affect how people, uh, how, how relaxed they are. Because really one of our goals is to try to eliminate as many distractions as possible. And then through the vehicle of music, try to create an environment that makes it easy for people to connect with God. So again, keeping in mind that most folks coming into our congregation on a Sunday morning are pretty distracted. You know, maybe, maybe, you know, the guy and his spouse had a little, little argument that morning, or maybe somebody cut him off in the parking lot in the church, you know, or maybe their three-year-old is throwing a fit, you know, when they were trying to put the three-year-old in the nursery, you know, just stuff. So by the time they get into their seat and you're about to lead worship, I think it's important we keep that in mind that typically our folks, you know, they haven't been on their knees praying for the last hour, you know, they're, they're pretty distracted. So just keeping that in mind and trying to, as we put our sit list together, trying to prayerfully forecast, okay, lighting, sound, uh, let's make sure we've got our lyrics figured out and like we're talking to our lyric person that that's all figured out. Make sure we're tuned up, make sure we're prayed up as a worship team and that we don't come off and expect people to just like go from zero to 60, just like that, but we, kind of meet them where they're at, man. Even if we as a worship team have been praying the last 30 minutes and we're all fired up, I think it's still important to kind of come off and meet them where they're at. And just say, you know, good morning and be conversational. And, and again, gently and in the most natural way possible, kind of begin to lead them on this journey.